You want to make a soft style scene like this fast? You've come to the right place. This tutorial will show you how to set up and light a startup scene. Create an asset pack and color the whole thing using a palette from coolers.co. First we are going to set up the startup file. So we will add a soft background by deleting the top two front two vertices on the default cube so that there are only two faces left, the bottom and back faces. Next bring the whole object up to the origin. Scale it up by 10. Bevel the connecting edge and shade the whole thing smooth. Now that we are done with the background, position the camera in front of the background and set the focal length to 90 or so. Time to add some lights. Select the light already in the scene and clear its location. Bring it up outside of the camera's view and change it to an area light. Set its strength to 500 and clear its rotation so that it points straight down. For the next light, move it off camera and to the left and rotate it towards the middle. Set it to a strength of 1000. For the last light, bring it off to the left and forwards. Point it towards the origin and set it to a strength of 800. Set the world strength to zero. We have finished our startup scene, so save it as something like a soft startup scene. Time to start making the asset pack. Start a new blend file and save it as something like assetpack.blend. Start with simple objects such as cubes, cylinders, and spheres. The bevel modifier is your friend. Use the angle limit method for already curved objects like cylinders. Start with a cube and add a bevel weight to an edge and add two bevel modifiers. Set the first one to weight limit, so that it only controls the edge that you added weight to. Set the second bevel to angle limits to round out the other corners. Maybe add another with more curved ed edges. It's easy to make a cylinder into a capsule or pole with a simple bevel modifier set to angle limit. Don't forget to shade everything smooth. Add a circle and fill it. Solidify it and bevel it. Duplicate and cut in half. For a ring, take a circle and add a skin modifier. In edit mode, you can use Ctrl A to change the vertex radiuses. Press X to change horizontal radius and Y to change vertical radius. Add a bevel. Duplicate it and add some different radiuses in edit mode. Duplicate it again and cut it in half. You can do the same thing for planes. Add a bevel and check only vertices to round the corner. Go into edit mode and delete only faces, keeping the edges and vertices. Adjust the vertex radiuses. Add another bevel set to angle limit to round the other corners. Duplicate it again and change the radius. Add a few more similar objects. Find the startup scene and asset pack. Go back to the startup scene and use Control shift s to save it as a new file so that we can reuse the startup scene later. Next, append the asset pack's main collection. Mine is called Assets. All your assets will appear in the middle of the scene. Just move them off to the left. To add objects into your artwork, duplicate the desired object, press M to move it into the main scene, and then use Alt-G to send it to the center of the scene. Repeat this process to make the scene. Once you're satisfied with your scene, go to coolers.co to find a color palette. You can generate a color palette or you can explore popular ones where I found this one. Link to it in the description. Click on any color to copy the hex value. Go to Blender, select an object, assign it a new material, and paste that hex value into its place on the base color. I numbered my materials. Repeat this process for each of the colors in your coolers palette. Apply different materials to all your objects in the scene. Spend some time experimenting. Congratulations, you have finished your first soft scene. Continue adding it.
especially your asset pack and experimenting with styles and colors. I hope you stick around and subscribe to watch future videos.